Hello guys, welcome to Hindu Response. Today we are looking at a video which was sent to me by Christians from a channel called What and Christian, which has like one lakh plus subscribers. I requested them to send me a different video, but they replied me with laughing emojis, calling me a coward. What I want to say is, I didn't choose this video. It's Christians who sent me this. So don't blame me Christians saying that I wanted to choose this video from his channel. The title of this video says 100% proof that Hinduism is false. It means the video creator is claiming that he will show his audience undeniable proofs that Hinduism is false. By the way, ignore those dislikes over there. Without further ado, let's see it. That's it. I mean, he just showed us one slide saying what is Hinduism with two question marks. Then showed two symbols and then directly jumped into three types of gods. He said he will give us information, right? At least I expected he would give a decent definition of what is Hinduism. Instead, he just showed two symbols. Okay, from now on, if someone asks me what is Christianity, I will just show them a wooden cross and three nails. That's it. So he asserted three points over here. One, Bhagwan Shiv has so many wives. Two, drugs and being naked. Three, lingam means palace. I checked his description and pinned message to see proofs for his claim. In that he said, Mata Parvati, Mata Kali and Mata Uma are Bhagwan Shiv's wives without any proof. Every Hindu knows that apart from secular Hindus and Liberandos, Uma Kali are names of Mata Parvati. In fact, she has 10,000 names. It is even present in Wikipedia, link is in my description. He didn't provide any proof for Bhagwan Shiv consuming drugs or being naked. And I too didn't find any proof for it. By the way, why there is no mention of Bhagwan Shiv consuming poison to protect people in his video? He then stated the Lingam is palace and provided two proofs. First proof is Wikipedia, where it clearly says Lingam is symbol or mark. Another one is an article about Shivaling, which was written to prove Lingam does not mean palace. In other words, the source of his claims itself shows he is lying. Now, he went to talk about Bhagwan Brahma. In this, he again asserted three things. 1. He married his own daughter. 2. It is mentioned in Saraswati Puran. 3. He got attracted to a woman called Urvasi. Let us first see the source of his claim. He said it is in Saraswati Puran, but he didn't provide any link to it. And I tried my best to find that Saraswati Puran, and I couldn't able to find it. However, in his description, he mentioned Devi Puran. So I am assuming that he would have at least read its first page. In the very first page itself, there are names of 36 authentic Purans and there is no mention of Saraswati Puran at all. In other words, Saraswati Puran is a fake book. During my research, I found that in 18th to 19th century, Christian missionaries made lots of fake books and fake translations to fool Hindus in order to convert. And Saraswati Puran is one of them. I already made a video debunking that Bhagwan Brahma marrying his own daughter is a lie created by Christian missionaries. That video is in my description and in my pinned comment. Let us just assume he did marry his daughter. Then who is her mother? He said she came from a pot through Bhagwan Brahma's semen. Thus, she does not have any mother as per that fake Puran. Then in Bible, God created a woman called Eve from Adam's rib and tells him to have sex with her. So by his logic, Eve is the daughter of Adam and yet God of Bible said to have sex with her. 
it is present in genesis 2 22 to 23 now going to that urvasi thing in the same devi puran it is mentioned that urvasi was born in dwapar yuga and mata saraswati was present even before the creation of world so it's clear that what is said about bhagwan brahma are just lies the proofs are in my description you guys can check it Now he has gone towards Bhagwan Vishnu but luckily he didn't said anything much about Vishnu apart from lying again however in this he showed us one of the biggest missionary propaganda that is sura who are treated as gods of hinduism are evil beings who exploit asura who are innocent beings according to him he said hindu scripture says suras and asuras are from same mother as usual he didn't give any proof on top of that what he said is wrong Sura and Asura have same father but different mother. Their father name is Sage Kashyapa. By the way he said we made powerful beings as god in order to exploit innocent people right here i quoted some verses from a holy book and you guys have to guess the name of that god luke 1927 new international version but those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them bring them here and kill them in front of me i know it's a parable but here the speaker of this verse didn't condemned killing This is a statement given by Columbus to Native Americans before killing them. Yes, the same Americans whom Columbus thought to be Indians. 